person you want. Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm joined by the usual crew tonight, uh, Christian and Anna. What up? Good evening. And I'm Lucas. So tonight we are doing uh, Beast Wars Megatron. Of yes. all sorts, all I have is this one. Yes. Well, I, I should say Kingdom Megatron. Yes. Anna did not get with the program and purchase her own one since she already has multiple other ones. Yeah, I have a poorly followed one per character rule in case you don't know. <laughs> oh, Anna, really we, we didn't talk to you about this. We came night. up with a solution, right? Okay, oh, God. so <laughs> we're talking about the accessories that, uh, uh, I don't know, came on Trailbreaker or whatever from the Centurion drone pack, right? And we were saying, like, oh, like, in one of the episodes, like, Ironhide kind of used an accessory like that, and then uh, uh, Trailbreaker did in the other episode. So we said, oh, we should just do it where you do, like, a scene, right? Like, because we're kind of talking about Rob's idea about, uh, you know, doing scenes with Transformers, right? So one per character per episode. And then that <laughs> solves all the problems. You don't have to do every episode, but you have like a you know, vignette from each episode, and that's where all of your extras can fit in. Right. So as long as if as I'm doing two Bumblebee episodes, I need right. two Bumblebees. Or you can do Correct. Bumblebee situations. I know you like to pose yours in interesting ways, but like you know, put it from an episode, or as long as it has like a display purpose. Yes. Yes. No, that would be that would be wow. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Paul's comments are always so, like, positive and encouraging. I really appreciate right. them. Well, I'm just trying to, like, come up with something for you, Anna, that, you know, you're always, <laughs> like, you know, trying to figure out, like, who's your one character. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Uh, you know, I would love to make a scene of my Transformers playing basketball with random teenagers. That's, that's like, my memories of G1. So, that's perfect. One, one so, it's not random. It's their, it's their human friend. I, I like how Paul's like, I just cut the fat. And like, how many Transformers do you have, Paul? Three. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, yeah, he, he does character collecting, like, you know, but then has like 20 characters he collects for, right? Anyway. Something like that. Yeah. So, Beast Wars Megatron. Uh, Kingdom Megatron. Kingdom. So, Kingdom Wars Beast Tron Mega. Salad. Word salad. Look, he's a purple dinosaur. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he's purpley. Very purple. I like the color. He is appropriately colored in this mode. They've also <laughs> changed the dino head just a little bit. It's not quite the Tyrannosaurus head it used to be. It's a little bit more, I guess, accurate, probably. It feels a little more blunted off. I don't know. There's the original HUD. Yeah. But he's colored like the show. He's got the green stripe. He's got the yellow underbelly. And what I was really surprised about when I took this out of the box was that he is not the normal kind of plastic. All of these reptile -y bits are like rubbery skin, and they're kind of gross, if I'm being honest. I don't like it very much. It also means that they don't tab together very well. Look at that. Yeah, it's a little Ooh. it's a little challenging uh, to get it, but it's it's interesting how many parts this thing has. Like it's because a lot of parts. the the rubbery skin, like there's there's like an exoskeleton kind of thing, like underneath all these parts. Um, and so it's, there's a lot of parts on this thing. Like it is truly like, I'm honestly kind of surprised that they got it in at the leader price point just because there's so many parts and it's a pretty big figure. Like it's pretty relatively hefty. Um, you know, after all these small leaders that we've had for, you know, forever, um, the, you know, it's, it's interesting getting a, a you know, a large figure like this. It's actually pretty weighty. <coughs> Yeah, I know you guys can't do this service for us, but it's in between the size of the MP and the original, right? I don't know. I think it's pretty similar to the size of the original, isn't it? Yeah, it, he may be a little bit physically smaller than the original. 
Really? Okay. But definitely, definitely denser and way more complicated. So yeah, years, so. Rand Randall's bringing it up that that might be why he is wave made as Earthrise Prime. So that I mean that could make sense, like That's you know a doing point. a repack. Um. So, but yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I think he has a ton of articulation in in Dino mode. Um, like I think he probably has about as much articulation as the masterpiece, right? Pretty much. It, like, do the legs go out? I can't remember. Yeah, they do. I don't think the articulation is a little more comfortable than the MP version because I felt like yeah. articulating the MP version really broke up the mold. Like it, it, it looked yeah. great in poses. I mean, this is this is what happens when you do it to this one. It, it does break up the sculpt just yeah. a bit, but not. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. The MP was pretty bad at that. It looked great standing like this. That's a fantastic looking figure, but you know, for my money, I think this is better. Like what I'm, what I'm saying is that the MP is not what is it five times better for five times the price? It is better. I don't know. It's hard to. It, I, I don't know. It's 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 hard to compare. It is. I really like that masterpiece a lot. I think the paint is on very it good. Is really good. So I, I feel like this is one of the ones I'd I'd have a hard time. Like if I was a Beast Wars guy, you know, like man, I'd have a hard time getting rid of that. I do sometimes miss my MP Megatron. But, I mean, I do think that this is, like, I, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm fine with just having this. I think Wait. if I had owned that before I got the MP version, I probably would not have gotten the MP version. Like, I don't think I would have felt the need to find something better after I had that from seeing what I've seen of it. Uh-huh. But I feel like since I already have the MP version, I'm going to keep it. Is the MP version, like, um, is it going for a lot on the secondary market? I don't even know. I don't know either. <laughs> oh. Paul does not appreciate us comparing this to the Masterpiece. Oh, I know. It's lovely. Well, Paul, we just happened to do it because Anna had the Masterpiece, so. Yeah. And he's here just to kind of show you, like, if you need this level of Megatron, then get him. If you don't get that one, it's really the message. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say that this is the one exception from the Kingdom line where I think that the animal head is pretty much just as good on that toy as it is on the Masterpiece. Because that's really where I've been like, <sighs> unable to compromise. Because like, this is a really that, good actually. animal head. I, yeah, I was going to say, I would agree. I think, I think there's a lot more detail. You think what's way better on animal head? The MP. Oh, okay. The, uh... Like substantially better. Yeah. This isn't horrible, but that one is incredible. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think, again, like, this is a great update on the original toy. I mean, there's just a lot more articulation, and it looks really good. But, yeah, like, I mean, the master, like, that masterpiece is just crazy good. Yeah, it's probably, I, to me, that's the best masterpiece. But I'll say why I think that. Why I think that is because I feel like most of the animal heads, by being more realistic animal heads, lost their character. Yes. Like, they lost that personality. Because they were goofy, talking animals. This is like, you know, Transformers mixed with goofy cartoon fables when they yes. were in animal mode. And it was fun, you know, to see those expressions. And you lose that in the Kingdom Toys. Like, yeah. necessarily. And I believe, by design, they wanted right. them to be more realistic. But I feel like for the two dinosaurs, at least from the pictures of Dinobot, they kept their personality in the faces. I think they certainly did it better on Megatron than they did on, like, Primal or yeah. Cheetor. Black Arachne is about the same. She didn't really have expressive beast mode. But uh, you're right. I think by design, they, they went more realistic and thus lost that, that kind of character. Yeah. Like if this had the exact show one, it would be... I don't know. I wouldn't say perfect, but it would go a long way to making it better. Right. Right. It's just a design choice. And I think it's an interesting design choice. It honestly is a good way to get us to have both. Like, it's right. a good way to get, like, uh, a really thorough Beast Wars collector. It's like, you know, Swift, who's on the show, he's going to have both because he's going to, and he might end up putting the animals from Kingdom in animal mode because their animal modes are more realistic. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think that they would want to just make it the masterpiece, but you know, scaled down and, and look exactly the same. So I think it's a good, you know, like what what they've done. Like I, I enjoy all the, the new kingdom figures. I think that they all look good in their own way. Like, so they don't, they don't look like the masterpiece. They're different, but yeah, I think it's fine. I think it was an interesting choice. Like it's a choice that surprises me that they made to make them more realistic animals. Yep. But I, it's it's a fine choice. They they look fine. You're making me miss that in piano. Well, uh, you know, like it's weird for me because I decided when I started collecting these Beast Wars and Ps, I decided Beast Wars was the one thing I really need MP for. Like for every character and everything, I have to decide like what level of quality do I need the character in. Like, you know, like Bumblebee. I need the highest quality Bumblebee because I really love Bumblebee. Tracks? Ugh. I really don't care about tracks. I have an <laughs> MP. No. I don't Sorry, care. I, I just... Think I have a tracks. I, I, I like that you bring up tracks or whatever because a lot of people don't like that in Masterpiece. No, it's not great. I have Road Rage because she was unique at the time. Like, that was the only Road Rage I could get. But I still don't even like it. And then... <clears throat> I um yeah I, I don't think I have a tracks right now. I'm looking around my room. I don't see one, and I don't care. So that's how much I care about that, right? I want the best bumblebee. But I don't even care that I don't have a tracks. I think I was with you at the Beast Wars decision because I, I originally had that same idea. Yeah, Beast Wars wasn't coming back around. The masterpieces were out, and they had just gone and done Megatron. And I was like, well, I guess I should go back and get Dinobot. And, rebuy primal and cheater i've bought primal like four times now because beast wars is really important to me but i think uh, at the end when they announced tigatron's price i was like you know i've got to be out of this i really do love tigatron but i don't 250 dollars love tigatron i'm really sorry but i do 30 dollars love tigatron and he'll be in the next wave and i do 50 dollars love love this megatron yeah yeah, no, the Megatron looks super cool. Like, I think he looks like a really neat toy. Um, Lucas has has had him in robot mode the whole time. Um, so the picture you gave me earlier to post, Christian. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I posted, obviously, and used it for tonight. I felt like it was a more consistent purple in that picture than it is right now in Lucas's screen. It's is a that just an thing. in-hand thing and it's a lighting thing? It's a okay. lighting thing. Because Lucas is looks like it's like white. three shades of purple right now. Lucas it pretty much purple. is. Yeah, it pretty much is. Okay, but which I don't really love. The white light that I use, then it it normalizes. And I don't know if that's intentional. Like they're like, oh, everyone's gonna put this in a well lit display and it's gonna normalize the color, so it'll be fine. But it is off. I mean, if you would bring back the MP again, you can see that that one is exactly the yeah, right color. The... The and this one is on his chest is kind of a, more of a magenta. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Like so the skin is a different color. I mean, I don't know. I still think it I think it looks good. It's like really well painted. Um, you know, there's a there's a lot of paint on it. Um and I think I'll I don't know. Like I said, it looks it looks different than the like the masterpiece obviously like I mean there's not even a question. Um right. Right, but I guess the difference with the MP is that this is a metallic purple mm -hmm. and this is a scale purple, but they're really the same purple in the end. Yeah. Yes, and I think yeah, what the, these are not what the, the Kingdom purple. one's trying to do is kind of break up that model. Emulate like that, yeah. Because if you look at that Megatron, he's three colors. He's that purple, that other purple, black and silver. But those two purples are like are the same, like you said. And this is kind of like black and gray and the tan and the pink and the purple and the black it's it's different colored which is yeah there's neat. all kinds of crazy colors so how's the articulation on that guy because I, I have to say articulation on this thing is fantastic and articulation on this thing is poof so where does um, the kingdom so the, like the ankles are fully articulated so you can you know, go for front and back it, and then the lower legs go, are the like side legs side okay. to side so they're like good you know full like range of motion um 
and then go out. So my legs are just a touch loose. Like, it's not bad. Like, he doesn't flop around or anything like that. But, like, if you could notice, like, I mean, it's not, like, it's not floppy, but it's not tight, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so. Mine seemed fine. Got it. And then, um, yeah, like, he has, you know, the waist articulation. So, I mean, I think he pretty much has all the articulation that you would want. Like, the head goes side to side. Um, there's a little bit of up and down, not a lot. Well, the, I mean, transformation or whatever goes back, but um, there's not a ton down. Um, but yeah, I mean, the arm articulation, obviously, with like the bits and whatnot, it get, kind of gets in the way. You can't take off the tail bits. Can you? Oh, can you? Yes. Yeah. How do I take off the tail bits? I didn't realize. Yeah, I didn't realize you could. Can. Yeah, it's in the instructions. Oh, well, I missed that, Christian. Gotta read, Lucas. Uh, I didn't get that far. It's so. part of your job as a microcaster <laughs> to read small print because it's micro. How, do, how do I take the tail off, Christian? I don't know. You made me go to vehicle mode or beast mode, so I can't do it. Mm. Well, I apologize. Yeah, no, I looked in the instructions and I, I did not see it, but I must have just missed it. I yeah, could have made it up, but I don't think I made it up. That made me really happy about the MP version that I could take that tell off because sometimes I just want I want this guy, but I want him to have a little more articulation. You know, I want him to have a hand so that he can gesture because he's yes. a very gestureful person. Are you sure you can take this off, Christian? I don't know, man. I, I you think have me questioning now. I heard that you couldn't, but I heard it from some voice in my head that I don't even know who said it. Yeah, I was going to say, someone in the chat maybe uh, can can tell us. Well, so far you've been called diagram illiterate. That's an interesting yeah, there you go. turn of phrase. Yeah. I will go I, back to robot mode as we see. I, I, don't, we'll, uh, try it. I don't know how you can take this off. It's not like the articulation is okay, though. Like, I have to say the design choice of these Force Megatron that has always bothered me about the character has always been that he doesn't really have hands, you know, especially this original toy, which is honestly a very cool toy for the time. It's just, I never wanted it as a kid because it didn't have hands. Like I like things to have hands to be able to gesture and all he have is a dinosaur that he can hand puppet at you, which is fun and all, but that's not it what I wanted. Do that, like sure. that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he does. Accurate. I mean, there, there is a hand in here, Anna, so... Yes. There is a hand in there. So if it comes off, then he has a hand. The Wait, original did. It, 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 only, it only counts if this thing comes off? Well, I guess you can see it, so it counts. Yeah, I don't there's know. there's no hand in this guy. I'll have to look in the instructions, because I swear that I, I did not see that you could take it off, so... I don't know. Yeah, it, it was just a bummer because I, I mean, I of course I like T Rex type, type dinosaurs. Everybody does. They're big and scary. They're basically dragons. It's great. It's fun. I, I liked them in the cartoon. This version of Megatron was way more of an articulate, fun guy than G One Megatron. So I was excited for him, but I just never wanted the toy because he didn't have hands or really posable arms. His arms are very limited. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that one is a little better on articulation. There is one piece of articulation that I really wish it had. I wish it had one more sliding joint for the dino head because his elbow, you know, goes like forward, and it means it means the dino head is upside down. Oh no! Huh. So I'd like it so the dino head could be sideways. So he can only elbow. face the dino head right side up if his arm's straight, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's more like the original, though. Yeah. And it just feels like it needs another twin, another turning part to make it all line up correctly. Yeah. I mean, that thing looks super cool, though, I have to say. Since I've been seeing pictures of people opening it, I think it looks like a really nice toy. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely think that, again, like, at that leader price point of, like, compared to what we've been getting, I think, I mean, this has a ton of paint, it has a ton of, uh, you know, the parts count is high, the articulation is good, I mean, I think that this could be your definitive Megatron, like, if you're... Sure. Like, if you're like, I, you know, I just can't do Masterpiece just because it's, like, too price prohibitive... I think that this is okay. I mean, I still think the masterpiece blows this one away, but it's, um, you know, I, th I th do think that this is really good, though. Or if you feel about Beast Wars Megatron like I feel about tracks. <laughs> How could you feel like that with Beast Wars Megatron, though? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, there's a lot of people who don't really collect Beast Wars, but they might like these toys and want them. Yeah. So, you know, they might kind of fit that niche. I think I lied. You think so? I, I, I think just think heard so. that you couldn't take it off. I, I was going to say, I don't have the instructions handy, but... Back, at least something. But maybe, What's maybe that? I made that up. I thought you could fold it back, or, so his you hand can. was, like, available, but maybe I made yeah, that no, up. Yeah, no, you can. You, like, I have it like that. So like what? Yeah, like, you can get to the Put hand, it. and the hand has a, a, a port in it, right? Way. Do you see it? Yeah, that's how I've got it. Yeah, I thought yeah, there was like a way that you, you could make do. the tail bits go away. I don't know. I'm, I guess maybe I dreamt that. <laughs> here, that's how quick it takes to transform. I didn't want to do it on air because we don't really do that here, but yeah. I did it while we were talking. Yeah, so it's, not a, it's not a huge yeah. ordeal. It's, it's worse going back to beast mode because you got to tab all the skin together. Yeah. Which is not fun. I feel like he that's, like, kind of the hardest thing with it, yeah, is that rubber skin. He didn't take off his towel in the cartoon, right? Mm, yes. He did? Okay. Not often, but yeah, he did. Okay. I can the EMP do it? Is that why I think it happens? The EMP can do it, yeah, okay. definitely. Maybe that's why I think it happens. I don't know how easily I can do it without trying to break my toy, but... Uh he does have all this junk on his back. Yeah, but I mean, the, come on. The MP it's... did the same thing, but it folded up better. Um, because it's an MP, that's what it does. Uh, right. This is, you know, he's got junk. One of the most interesting choices about the MP is the fact that you can take off the armor bits. Like, you can make a kibble-free, non-accurate version of Beast Wars Megatron out of this MP if you ever want to. Which is weird, but fun. He does have his Predacon symbol on his forehead, which is pretty cool. I don't remember it being green, though. Someone in the chat might have to verify that for me, because I, I thought... I mean, I know the Predacon symbol is purple normally, but I don't remember if Megatron was a, a special color. The MPs is green. Okay, maybe. Okay, cool. The original like I said, didn't I have remember. one, probably. Original toy had a silver head, so I mean. I do like that original toy. I never had that version, but I have the uh, Beast Wars 10th anniversary one, which is yeah. really cool. See, he can be all like, I have an arm. Yeah. I have a real arm, everyone. He can be just like the rest of you boring robot people. With his weird fingers. I never liked those fingers for him. Oh, I love these fingers. They're these odd. Fingers are creepy. He's but got two this one, this one just has, you know, generic transmorph fist. Which is fine. He can hold five millimeter stuff. His thumbs have like fifty joints. They look fantastic. <laughs> I could really see them doing the Netflix treatment to this, and I I know he's not in the next wave for Netflix, but if they do like more waves or some equivalent thing, whatever premium they're gonna do next, they could do the MP deco on this and include a rubber ducky. I would love that. That'd be very fun. He makes bath time so much fun. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't necessarily know that I need more a more premium deco than this. Um, I mean, th th I think this is pretty good. And considering that they're not trying to do Masterpiece, um, you know, I, I think it's fine. But I would love a ducky accessory. Like, if we get another accessory pack... That's where it belongs. You're right. It yeah. belongs there. Yeah. This guy's old. I love that so badly. Uh, I am excited to see the T-Rex repaint of this because I just love T-Rex as a character. Mm -hmm. That said, 
I don't think I need three of this one, so I believe I will pass on the Jurassic Park one. We'll we'll see if it looks good, but the the rubber skin is off putting to me. It may not be off putting to you. See, I'm I'm, I'm fine with the rubber it. rubber cool. skin. I think I, again, like it's a little annoying to uh, for the um, alt mode or for the robot, whatever for the alt mode uh, for tabbing it in together, but. I really wish they could have used normal plastic and applied the MP paint technique, the textured paint that they use, and put um, it on this. I would have really enjoyed that. Same thing goes for Cheetor and Primal, really. I think that yeah, would have really look a lot great neater. to have adapted that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Of the wave, I feel like Cheetor is really the only one that I'm not so sure about. Um, but uh, I think that the rest of them look really good. Yeah, we'll be talking about them, I guess, over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I did elect not to open my Cheeto, and I'm going to wait for the Netflix one instead. I have to say that that is a big improvement on this, you know? <laughs> yep. It's a big progression from this guy. Which I actually never had as a kid, so I honestly might have this, like, half transformed at this point. I don't even know. It looks right. This is... I was joking before the show with my co-host here that this is the closest you'll ever get to a guest appearance of my husband because this is his toy, not mine, his one Transformer. It's a good choice. I really love that figure. There you go. If you're only going to have one Transformer. There you go. Have this one. But relatedly, he mostly had it because it's a dinosaur. And I'm just really curious if the rubber skin on this guy is like the rubber skin on the old Jurassic Park toys. Like, I wonder if it would make them, like, look good together and play good together. Because we have some of the old Jurassic Park toys in the basement, and they still look good, you know, 27 years later, or however how long it's been. I'm going to give you a solid most <laughs> likely on this one. That's the... Now, that I, that is kind of cool to me. I can't it guarantee it, it, it feels similar, but I didn't have a ton of those when I was a kid. Neither did I, but someone I'm married to did. I think you can make a good case for it. It's interesting. Like, that might be part of the reason they did it. We'll see. We'll see about, um, what's his face? Uh, Dinobot. Like, I'm curious if he's going to have the rubbery skin, too. I would imagine so, but maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, Paul says that he loves the weird scaly skin. It's something new. Good. I think it's interesting. There was rumors that they were going to do flocking on some of the figures. They, I guess It sounds like they ended up not doing that. Uh, but that, that would have been an interesting choice uh, for, like, Primal and whatnot. Flocking oh, wears weird. terribly. Right. Like, it would be on the parts where you put your hands, not like, you know, when you flock a, like, guy doll's head. You don't touch that too much, so it's not so bad. But if you flopped a Cheetor, that would be a mess. Like, he would get worn down so bad. Yeah, and Paul says that he thinks that they probably did the rubber skin, so this could be the Jurassic Park collaboration toy, too. So. Yeah, which is super cool, I think, if that's why they did it. So. I like the idea of making them cross over. And, like, I think that I could like the rubber skin. Like, I need to touch it. You know, if we weren't in a pandemic, yeah. I would go touch it. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't like it very much. I don't hate it, but I'm not a fan. Other people like it, which yeah. is good. Whatever. Yeah, I, I like it. So, I mean, I like this this figure. Like, I definitely, I'm not a Beast Wars guy, you know. So, but I, I think this is a really good figure, and I think if you're only going to collect a couple of figures from this line, I think that, you know, this and the Primal, you know, maybe Black Arachne. I don't know. I'd agree with all of those. And Rat Trap. Mm. Yeah. I, like I don't know. Like, I don't like the Rat Trap as much. Well, I mean, we haven't, I don't know if we're going to... Find out in the future. Not, when yeah. we talk about Rat Trap. Which <laughs> I may or may not be giddy. I don't remember. I think you said you were keeping Mice Warriors. I am keeping Mice Warriors, but I don't know if I if I actually still have a Rat Trap coming. Because currently I have all the Rat Traps otherwise. So well, you need to get it then. Rat and it's only like 10 bucks. So. I love Rat Trap. So, I love Rat Trap too. Uh, Swift says he can't wait for this to dry rot in 20 years. 
And that, that's the biggest concern. Like, is it going to rot on you? Because I can tell you from experience that there's like 20 Jurassic Park toys in my basement that were released in the like mid 90s and they're fine. So they're very yeah. old rubber dinosaurs. As long as you keep it in a, you know, temperature controlled room with like the yeah, proper sure. humidity and whatnot. Yeah, now that they're out on display, they might start rotting. There you go. Just get a humidor for your toys. There we go. Mm -hmm. So. Well, so this is a recommend from both of you? I would say so. I recommend owning a version of Beast Wars Pegatron in your life because he's a cool character. Mm, that. That is what I say. Yeah, I don't really think this one's the right solution these days because you're gonna you're gonna get it and you're gonna feel like, wow, this figure's outdated. It's fine. If, if the skin isn't a problem for you and the weird colors under not white light isn't a problem for you, then definitely get him because he's he's fun. He's well articulated. He he's sculpted well. For me, the skin is not great, and the colors can be odd. I still recommend, but with reservations. See, I dig the colors, and I dig the skin, Good. so, Good. you know, I think that those are, those are positives for me. That's, that's why there's three of us. <laughs> that's right. So, so we can disagree and still have a positive view of the figure. It's great. I, I do think it's kind of neat, too, that, you know, we've shown off, like, three different Megatrons, and they all look completely different. They do. So that's kind of neat. They do. Well, this one, you know, the original was not exactly very accurate with the coloring, but of the robot mode, at least. The beast mode was good, but the robot mode was a little off. I have to say, though, this is like just looking back at this head like that was a great head. Mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. Beast Wars had some good heads, but that is a like fantastic head. It's not exactly hope... what he looks like in the cartoon, but it's great. I hope they put that head on the T-Rex one, because he actually did use the battle mask. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So I hope they have that head sculpted and ready to go for that usage. Yeah, it would be great. Because this head is it's just a fun, like, he's got the Ninja Turtle scowl going on. It's, it's very fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I do think it's interesting, Swift was saying, how they all tr uh, transform the same. And, uh, they do. It's... Yeah, it's interesting that they never came up with a different transformation. I feel like, you know, all these G1 and third-party figures and whatnot, there's like, they come up with a thousand different ways to transform uh, G1 Megatron or Optimus or whatever kind of thing. If and, that uh, transformation can produce this, you don't need to refine it. That's true. That's true. Because my only problem with this figure was the transformation is risky just from the panels on his shoulders. Otherwise, this thing is fantastic. And the Kingdom one improves on that. It, it's less risky. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm sure it is because it's less. It's not origami. You know, this is plastic origami nightmare yeah. planet. And it doesn't. It, it's got the chunks on the back, but it's chunkier so that you can you know, not break every single one of them. I actually prefer that, I think. <laughs> um, so tomorrow night, check us out. Uh, there's going to be an Oof My Wallet uh, live on the YouTube channel at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Uh, so uh, check that out. should be fun. Um, should be another Cut the Tape this week if uh, you want to check that out. Uh, last night we did our top figures, uh, or our top mainline figures of 2020. Um, so that, that was fun discussing, um, all those. And then next week we're doing our top masterpiece and third party figures of 2020. So, so yeah. I really got to watch last night's show so I can tell you all how wrong you all are. Who's your top figure? To I don't know. <laughs> Well, then how are we wrong if you don't have I'm a top gonna, figure? I know I'll disagree. It's all good. I don't know. All four of us agreed pretty much on everything. I was joking that Rotor Storm was my favorite. Nick w had Rotor Storm in his list. Yeah. Good. Good. Glad. Now, I, I think that we did a pretty good job of representing, like, the line overall. Because there was a lot of picks, but we, we agreed on a lot of stuff, too. 
Sadly, I don't think I put that RC mold on there. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. There's no RC. I really do like it. Alita 1 did make my honorable mention. Yeah, like I really do like it, but it wouldn't be the best. And yes, Randall said the correct answer is ER Prime, and I have to agree that would definitely be in my That's list. Really some version of Earth Rise Prime, since so it's a really good figure. Watch the show, you can find out what we said. Well, there you go. Everyone should watch it, including me. Right. It's like we're giving you homework. <sighs> Speaking of homework, what homework does the book club have to do this weekend? Uh, the book club has to read, I believe, issues 15 and 16 of Robots in Disguise. Yep. Sounds right. I'm very excited about the current plot line. I actually read it like right after the show last week because I never read it till the very last minute because I'm like, eh, comics, me. But this one, I was very excited because it was left on a cliffhanger. So as soon as we get done talking, I read. So it's an exciting time. And we'll be starting a new plot the week after, so it's a good time to join. But somehow the cliffhangers and plots for More Than Meets the Eye is not as exciting? or Nope. I like Romance of Disguise better. It's interesting. I swear it's not just because I'm contrarian. I swear. I, sure. I think that's what it is. Anyway, uh, thank you to everyone in the chat tonight. Uh, thanks to Michael, Randall, Catherine, uh, Paul, uh, Tony, I think, from earlier. So, so thanks, guys. Uh, do we have anything else before we wrap? Not really. Well, Dinosaurs are good. We'll see you next week. Rawr.